Susato san. I've just checked, Narahodo san. Your luggage is already on board. Such a beautiful morning. Perfect for embarking on a journey, isn't it? Before I set off, I'd just like to say how thankful I am for everything you've done for me. And give my warmest regards to Kazuma, please. Actually, I think you ought to give him your regards in person, don't you? Sorry? Ryunosuke. Kazuma! Wh what are you doing here? <laughs> Do you really think I'd miss my best friend's departure? <laughs> Thanks. To be honest, I'd been looking forward to our wild time tearing up the streets of Her Majesty's capital, but, uh... Hmm. Well, we'll have to save that for another time. Personally, I'm looking forward to facing you in court again. Me too. But, uh, we're both defense lawyers, so, uh... I'm going to become a prosecutor. I'll stay in Lord Van Zeek's tutelage for the time being, but before long... I intend to be just as formidable as the Reaper himself. Oh, I see. Actually, Ryunosuke, I have a favor to ask. Name it. I'd like you to take care of this for me for a while. Karuma? Why? Because I've seen it now. I've seen what's inside me, the demon that reared its ugly head that day. It was only for the briefest of moments, the last time I came face to face with that inspector, but it was unmistakable. I wanted to kill him. I've always known there are demons that live inside people. And now I know there is one in me. The fact that it very nearly consumed me is something I'll carry with me until the end of my days. While I devote my life to fighting those whose demons have got the better of them. As a prosecutor. So, that's what you've resolved to do, is it? Until I'm ready to face the demon within me, to slay it once and for all, I leave this in your care, if you'll take it. Of course I will. I'll keep it by my side, always. Until we meet again then, you have your path to follow, and I have mine. Um... Naruhodo-san? The path you're going to follow from now on... I wonder if I might follow it at your side, and unless I'd be a burden. What? I, I mean, I... I w would very much like you to come with me. But... but aren't you...? <laughs> You're so predictable, Rinosuke. I am? Honestly, you never change at all. But that's what I like about you. You... you mean you knew about this? It was the evening after Lord Van Zeek's trial came to an end. She came to see me at the prosecutor's office. Really? Oh, when I had that conversation with Professor Mikotoba. So, you'd go with Ryunosuke back to Japan? Yes. I know it's unfair of me to follow my own interests like this. Coming here especially to tell me. You're a stickler for etiquette, aren't you? Well, what are his feelings? We've never discussed it, of course, and Naruhodo-san has made no such suggestion. I worry that perhaps I'd be a burden to him. He's just as much of a stickler for etiquette as you are. He'd never say anything before he was asked. But I'd feel happy knowing you were with him. Look out for him on my behalf, will you? Of course.
Susato-san. What... What do you think, Narahodo-san? With you by my side, no trial would seem too daunting. So, if you're willing, I'd be honored if you'd come with me. Together we can take on the world. I'm terribly incompetent, but if you'll have me, I'd be delighted. Oh, oh no, no, not at all. I, if anyone's terribly incompetent, it's me. Ah! What's wrong? Your luggage, Susato-san. There's no time. The ship's going to set sail any minute now. Uh, it's all right. There's no need to worry. As it happens, my luggage is already on board, too. It is? <laughs> Your fine judicial assistant has everything in hand as always, I see. Bruno! Your ship's about to leave! Time to go, then. Look after yourself, Runosuke. Cosma, draw your sword. One day, when our paths cross, once more, We'll fight a duel, a duel of words, across the courtroom. A day I eagerly await, as a lawyer. I've been waiting to hear you say that, partner. Don't forget me then, Kazuma. As if I could, Ryanosuke. And Mr. Sholmes, thank you so much. I'm very much indebted to you. Indeed, Mr. Narahodo. I believe you are. I'll never forget all you've done for me during my time in London. Quite. I should like to think you will remember your debt of gratitude. Especially when I visit you in your country. What? The truth is, although many are ignorant of the fact, the world is far smaller than most folk realize. Well, I'd be delighted if you came to Japan one day. Oh yes! We'd welcome you with open arms, Mr. Sholmes. Oh, that sounds wonderful! I can't wait! In that case, let us conclude that this is to be merely a brief parting, my dear fellows. And that brings us to the end of my adventures in Great Britain. A peculiar twist of fate brought me halfway around the world those many months ago. But that was just the start of my journey. Who knows where fate will lead me next? Still, I'm confident this won't be my last meeting with the friends I've made in London and when we are together again. No doubt, the first words I'll hear will be... Come! The game is afoot! The ship, with our friends from the east, sailed steadily towards the distant horizon. But shows his face was alight with joy. The times may change, but a steadfast friendship will remain true, we'll see. We have but to gently, gently close, close our, our eyes, eyes, and we, we are, are with our, our companions, companions once, once more. more. So, so I, I do, do just, just that. And when I do, I can hear his strong, familiar voice ring out. Objection! 